Well, hey, y'all, and welcome to the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. I'm Susan. I'm your hostess, and yes, I'm wearing the same outfit because it's the same day as I did the deer meat, and I want to share with you a recipe that I created myself, and it is a meat seasoning mix, and there it is in the jar. This is really good. I think you're going to like it. And here is my recipe book, and it says Susan's Deer Seasoning Mix. And But it will good, be good on any kind of meat. Um, and I will get all my ingredients together, and we'll get this put together real quick. Okay, I'm going to go through this real quick. You're going to need a bowl to mix this in. You're going to need a tablespoon. A one, one half tablespoon would equal one and a half teaspoons, so that would work. You would need a quarter teaspoon or um, just a pinch is the same as a quarter teaspoon. My ingredients are granulated onion powder, granulated garlic, ground turmeric this is a mix of uh, powdered peppers that I did up but you can use any kind of pepper that you have cayenne would work chili chili any kind of chili peppers this has the seeds ground into it so it is extra spicy if you don't think your seasoning is spicy enough you can always add more or you can omit um, but this just adds just a little bit of uh, a kick to it, but if you had omit it, I would replace it with some black pepper. Um, paprika. Now you can use any kind of paprika or smoked paprika or Spanish, whatever you have on hand uh, that would work, and oregano, and of course I'm using Mexican oregano, uh, but you can use any kind of oregano and you can make it finer by putting it through a food mill. Or uh, a neutral bullet and some parsley flakes. You will need your mixing bowl. You'll need a half pint jar and a funnel. And you're going to need a spoon to stir this with. And it really doesn't matter what order you put this in, uh, but I'm going to start with the parsley flakes and I'm going to give it a generous uh, tablespoon just because we like parsley. My next ingredient will be the garlic. And we're going to use six tablespoons of garlic. One, two, three, four, Six. And I forgot the salt. We'll, we'll also need um, kosher salt or canning salt. Next ingredient is going to be the granulated onion, and I need five tablespoons of this. And if you uh, want to, you can omit the salt. It's just not going to be as good a seasoning at the end. I need one and a half teaspoons of turmeric, or a half, half a tablespoon. And I don't mind being a little generous with that. Turmeric is very healthy for you. It's good for uh, anybody that has pain issues. It helps relieve the pain a little bit. I need one tablespoon of Mexican oregano. And 
I've got a few stems in there I'm going to break up or take out. That's the only thing about Mexican oregano is they, they put the stems in it. I'm going to dump that in there. Get my oxygen absorber back in there. Now we need two tablespoons of canning salt. You can use Himalayan canning salt or a kosher salt would be good. I prefer the fine salt, but if you like coarse salt, you're more than welcome to change the recipe and use what you have. Now I'm going to use one quarter teaspoon of my ground chilies with the seed. And that's this one. And this one has jalapeno, cayenne, Tabasco, and banana peppers. So it's a mix. I'm just going to get a quarter teaspoon out. And I'm say a scant quarter teaspoon because it is so spicy. Peanut butter lids work really good on these jars, y'all. They fit. And my last ingredient is the paprika. And I'm going to use a quarter teaspoon of paprika. And this uh, combination of the cayenne and the paprika is very spicy. So that's why you use such a small amount. Now, if you like spicy foods, you can up, up your game and you can add a little more spice to it. So there's all my ingredients in here, and I am just going to stir and mix. And now I could put this through my um, Nutribullet and really grind it up fine. But for this purpose, I'm not worried about it. I got some salt in there that lumped up on me. And you want to mix it up really good and try to get any lumps out of it. And it's got a really pretty color and a nice flavor for meat. Now, I could have kept this recipe secret and sold it to you, but I'm not going to do that. Um, it's just a really nice recipe. It's kind of like an adobo seasoning, but it's not adobo. And I'm just looking to see if I have any more stems in there that I need to take out, and I don't see any. So, this is it mixed up. And I'm just going to pour it into my jar, and I'm pouring it away from me because you don't want to breathe in any of that cayenne pepper. And I'm going to get a, a trivet and set underneath my jar to tap it. I'm just tapping it down to get it down in the jar and it is right at the one cup mark right there and it is a very nice mild flavored um, seasoning um, except for the little bit of pepper in there that just kind of gives it a kick okay I've got the seasoning ready I'm just going to cap my jar off you can use a peanut butter jar lid uh, or these one piece lids slipped over from some of your canned goods that you buy in the store and I'm going to attach a label to it and there it is y'all a really nice convenient meat seasoning for you now I would use this sparingly because of the heat in it um, but you could use as much or as little as you want I'm probably with a, this amount of meat I'm probably going to use about three maybe four tablespoons to cover all my meat.